back for another vlog episode um, in regards to the baby's booty and some of the things that are involved in an embroidery studio or what I do in my studio. Um, I was supposed to have filmed this earlier. It's currently 5 o'clock roughly. Sorry, 6.30. Time has gotten away from me today. Been at the hospital all morning with my grandfather, so a um, little bit tired, but he's okay. So that's all that matters. He'll be there a couple of days. So I'm gonna keep this free. Um, one of the suggestions that I received was to have a tour of my sewing studio because um, I'm quite proud of it. Actually, I work really hard um, on my studio. It's not much, it's a um, little one room apartment that I have and it allows me to have my own space. It's kind of like a, as my cousin called it, a woman cave, but um, I call it something different. She'll probably die if I tell you, but it's all right. Um, I call it my trap house because I get trapped out here and I know trap house is a negative connotation. I totally get that, but I'm all about taking negative things and turning it into something that's positive if I if I'm able to. And so um, it's like a little joke that I have. I call it my trap house. So I'm out here in my trap house, and um, she mentioned how neat and organized I have everything, and I'm like this junky place. But I totally understand when. Um, you're able or fortunate enough to have your own space. It does um, seem to evoke a lot of uh, appeal to the people who finally do get to come and visit my studio. So uh, I don't have customers here normally under normal circumstances, but on special occasions, yes, I don't mind having um, customers come by if they need to pick up an order or uh, want to just come by and check things out so for those who can't make it I'd like to show you what my studio is all about so if you for no oh my god to no further ado is that the right thing to say I don't know if that's the right thing to say forget it we're gonna take a tour hang on I guess one of the first things I'll do is start on my sewing side um, this is my whoops tripping over the daggum tripod Lord Jesus okay this is the sewing area where I sew. Um, one of the final steps of making the baby's things or the bibs or the burp cloths or what have you. Uh, so I put my um, logo, business logo up there to give me encouragement as I work. I have a self-made whiteboard where all I did was get a picture frame with the glass, put some of the green behind it actually that is tissue paper if I'm not mistaken quite glittery I don't know if you can see the glitter so uh, it's glittery give me some frou-frou silver frames everything matches my thread I got a frame um, this frame I've always had <clears throat> and I painted it silver those frames there I got from thrift store or Goodwill or something to that effect um, made my own mat for my logo with tissue paper so that it would match. thought that was pretty cool. A lot of my ideas I get from Pinterest. Um, and this is one of the ones I've seen the pegboard framed quite a lot on Pinterest. I thought it was super cool, so I decided to do that myself. Um, my peripherals, excuse the mess please. Um, some supplies and my little mascot stays where I can see him most of the time I have a magnetic bar that holds my scissors my seam rippers my um, nippers and my tape measure I found a blingy set that I thought was pretty cool and then that was after I had already painted my own with some glittery I don't know the pink and the green kind of stuck with me I, I like that a lot I had um, some items already that were pink and green so it, it just kind of came together uh, ironically I made my own window treatment um, embroidered it myself for the baby's booty in my um, sewing studio 
and then over here I have um, a stand that actually came with the desk set I don't know if you can see that desk set and again forgive the mess down here but this desk set I got gosh 15 years ago probably now we've had it that long um, and I put a tape measure on the underside of it so that I could measure something really quickly if I needed to um, and then that's the matching stand I put it there um, those are my gift boxes uh, small medium and large and then I have my own printer out here so that I need to print invoices or uh, any number of things I print out there's my um, binders which hold important paperwork and um, over here I have my clips to hold um, my sewing things when I don't need to use pens or want to use pens I'm sorry that's printer ink um, other little miscellaneous knickknack tic tacs this little baby my raggedy Ann believe it or not I got her when I was born she was a gift to me from my mom when I was born in the hospital I've had her all my life and so of course she earned a coveted spot in my sewing studio wanted to point out to her love her to death um, also ironically um, that's my fuse panel but I'm pointing it out because one of the things now I've never been a girly girl but I decided to sorry forgive my dog she's got a big mouth um paint and I wanted glitter walls I saw a glittery wall at Charlotte Ruth and was determined to have a glitter wall myself so I mixed my own glitter paint made my own glitter paint and partially used some Disney glitter paint but and added more glitter to it and that's where my paint comes in and this is celery over there and that's white um, to brighten up my sewing side with light sorry if I'm swinging the camera too much and um, this is my embroidery thread board peg board and it says ladies place because again when I was just a little tyke that was my family nickname they called me lady so that's why it's ladies place and the pegboard is in a frame not the best of frames i worked really hard did it myself but this particular picture frame i got from goodwill took the picture out of it and framed the pegboard with it and then of course i had to cut the pegboard to match but i have all my threads from different manufacturers but for the most part they're all embroidery thread they are all embroidery thread and I have some other little knickknacks here and there um, the board I put together myself um, I have an ironing board but I also took a folding table this is an older folding table though and I covered it after putting a pad I, I put a took a folding table sorry that I could take the top off Put a pad and then the fabric and made an ironing table um, so that I could have a much larger ironing surface um, to iron on bigger than the ironing board because sometimes I need to lay out blankets so it's not too terribly big but it's big enough and it handles quite a lot of work quite proud of that um, and that's of course a regular ironing board and it's like antique and unfortunately the excuse the light switch thing that really shouldn't be hanging like that but it is that's my remote control light so I can cut my lights off and over here is a bunch of other stuff more storage here jump here my vacuum dog snacks to throw out the back doors for the dogs um, some of my self-made patterns are here idea panel here I made that apron for uh, a customer one time another custom window treatment I have my little uh, air conditioner there now the frame back here for the pegboard I took the glass out of it and I made this and this is my project board slash calendar appointments blah 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 and I love glass I love 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 glass because I can use it with the liquid chalk I can use it with the dry erase I can use it with an overhead projector if anybody remembers that 
I can use it with any of those things. And on the back side, I did the picture of my kids when they were little and see this doesn't come off because that's on the back side. Um, this is on the back side as well. So I always have this frame, but on the front is where um, I'm able to write things and wipe it off as I need to. Um, the calendar also is permanent even though the dates are not so I have to go in and fill in my dates I thought that was pretty snazzy um, and then I have a ribbon storage thing that I had to put together because I'm always finding ribbon on sale I can't say no to ribbon I have an obsession somebody please intervene it sucks because I have so much ribbon but I do use it when I make the angel gowns um which are the gowns that i women send wedding dresses and i cut them and make them for the little babies who pass in the neo native intensive unit neonatal sorry intensive unit or in the hospital the babies pass uh, volunteer work that i barely have time for but i try to fit it in um i just came up with this idea for more storage haven't really used it much that's my water bottles to make it easier for me to put water in the iron um so i can keep my iron filled and my spray starch and i don't even know what that is in that pocket right there i'm gonna have to check that um my rulers are here i have a goal if you want to help me reach that goal i'd appreciate it can give you the email address to my GoFundMe. I'm trying to save up for that baby right there. It's not much, but it is a lot. 5,200 dead blame dollars, but I think it'll be worth it eventually, and I'm working towards that. Um, I think I'll make it there. Um, just a regular pegboard I have here. Um, again, my kids always an inspiration for me. Um, other miscellaneous things that I may or may not need. Um, another magnetic bar for the tools that i use over here in the embroidery section and that's my serger um embroidery tools or whatever and then this little fella here this snuff can tobacco can i found that in this house when i bought it um it's like a vintage tobacco can actually i thought it was pretty cool and it stuck to the magnetic bar so I keep pens and pencils in it i thought that was pretty neat so I keep that for nostalgia um as i finish bobbins i put them here so that i can easily get them and refill them and i keep my filled bobbins here in that little thing lotion um picture frame that shows all my family so that i'm always looking at the people that i love to help keep me in a good mood and that's one of my beautiful cousins amber hi amby I'm going to have to tag you so that you can see yourself. And more ribbon, as you can see. Elastic ties for binky leashes. And that's my grandpa that's in the hospital right now. He's uh, 92 or 93. Um, not in that picture, he's not, but right now he is. But he's got pneumonia, unfortunately, so he's in the hospital. Um, these shelves were in this room already built in and they were filled with National Geographic's popular science magazines so I moved all of that and put in patterns these are some <clears throat> of my patterns here and some here I have and some in there I have way more patterns than one person honestly needs those are my travel sewing kits so if I have to go do a sewing job on the road I have travel kits that I take with me with most of my basic supplies um, these are extra threads up there Dollar Tree is my friend can you tell Dollar Tree Dollar Tree Dollar Tree Dollar Tree more Dollar Tree so I, I do use uh, the most inexpensive methods I can come up with you know my snacks Dollar Tree uh, containers there so you know, I try and save money where I can. Um, and up there, there was an insane sale on canvas. There are instances where I'll do a baby set bib, burp cloth, blanket, and do a matching picture to go with the whole set. My daughter does the painting. She's 
eight, 17 and she paints beautifully. So if I have an embroidery design I would like to match, then that's where she'll pick whatever size frame anyone wants. So I can go eight by 10, 12 by 12, or as big as, sorry for the blur, 11 by 14. So if you're interested in having a painting done, she can do that as well. So again, oh sorry and this is my extra sewing machine and this is where i keep my uh embroidery backing here extra embroidery stabilizer sorry that's the right word stabilizer here um over there i use wax paper sometimes as a topping to help me with my embroidery cleaning for in here extra fabric and whatnot so i don't know i think i covered everything that's in here um i do have another section out in the main um room that i will show you another time because i'm already at 13 minutes and i want to take up all of your time but in the event that you were interested in anything that you see here drop me a line let me know ask questions I have no problem whatsoever sharing my idea, where I got the idea, how I did it, um, and help you do it yourself. Okay, so that was the tour. It's not much to it. Um, it's all I have, and it's not a lot, but I love it. It allows me to get away and have time to myself. Um, and I come out here and enjoy myself. I usually rock out, turn on my rock music, uh, unless I'm feeling more the need to be more calm, and then I'll turn on some light jazz and chill out. You know, that's that's what I do out here. So, oh Lord, and you probably saw the wine glass as well when I was swinging through. That was a help you out from having a stressful day surprise from my husband. I thought that was really sweet. He came and brought me some wine, so. Again, I don't want to take up you guys' time very much, but I just wanted to give a rundown of the sewing studio and let you see what I work with. If you have any questions, again, if you have any questions and want to know how I did something, where I got something, drop me a line. I'm more than happy to share my information. And you guys have a great day. I'm going to try and unwind um, and get my things together so that I can do a little bit of work because I've been gone all day. So. Thanks and have a good evening. Bye.